The issue of counterfeit components crops up in, in many instances. So what I've done is to get together with a couple of representatives from some of the uh, major distributors to discuss this, to find out more about them. Are they important? What are the issues associated with them? And should we be buying them? But first of all, what are counterfeit components? Well, essentially, they're components that have been copied without the permission of the original manufacturer, uh, the design authority. Very often what happens is that the company that wants to copy them will obtain a number of samples or, or of these components, very often integrated circuits, because that's where the uh, greater profits are. They'll obtain these and do their best to copy them. And as you can imagine, there are quite a few issues associated with this. So do you really want to put these into your designs, your, uh, your, your products, and what are the uh, penalties if you, if you do that sort of thing? So let's, get a, let's find out some more about what they are and what the issues might be. These parts can appear very similar to the authentic version, and often sophisticated technology is required to identify them almost certainly the part will not function to the authentic part specification. So what are the actual risks with using counterfeit components? Whilst the problem was intensified during the pandemic, the risks remain the same, which is you know, production shutdown through to catastrophic product failure. And if that product failure were, say, an aircraft, then you know, again, that's, that's extremely serious. And I was recently told of the story of a company that couldn't obtain a, a component that was essential for a, one of their designs. It was an old product. And they went to a company that was, well, maybe not quite the right one to go to. And lo and behold, uh, some counterfeit components were obtained. Uh, obviously, they didn't realise this at the time. But the downside was that these components didn't work. So they all had to be removed from the, uh, the board, the printed circuit boards, and the search had to go on again to find some genuine components. So I think that's a warning to lots of people who might want to uh, think they, uh, they may be able to get away with it. The risk of counterfeit components entering the supply chain is not something new. So when might this happen? At certain points in the market cycle, components can be harder to source and counterfeit parts can come into the market. As we heard, some of the main times when uh, uh, this type of thing occurs is when the uh, components are in short supply, lead times go out, and the manufacturing of a particular product might be stopped because you just can't get the components. So people start looking around for other places to buy the components, and this is when sometimes the uh, counterfeit components can uh, enter the, uh, uh, the products and all the issues can then manifest themselves. So. The best way really is to make sure that you buy genuine parts from a, an authorised and trusted source such as Mauser. Uh, we have accreditation for both AS9100 and AS6496, which to the customer means they can be assured of getting genuine product from the original manufacturing source and with full traceability. And we're also members of um, trade bodies such as the Electronic Components Industry Association and of course that again requires us to be delivering and, and stocking genuine product. Traceability in the electronic component supply chain is therefore key. Use a franchised or authorised distributor. DigiKey buys from more than 2,300 manufacturers directly. Counterfeit components will always be an issue. They'll always be around because there'll always be people wanting to make an extra bit of money by copying someone else's design. But there are some real issues, as we've heard. Not only are there uh, issues with the performance of them, very often they, and well, in fact, probably normally, they don't work to the specification that's required, and you will only find that out after they've been put into the uh, circuit. But also the moral issue of taking uh, money away from the original design company, um, the copyright issues, and also if you take money away from the original design company, they won't have the money to put into new development, so it'll slow down the development of new product.
But if you want to find out any more about uh, uh, component supply and counterfeit components, then head over to our website. There's more information there, uh, more information on the description area for the video. And please don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and of course, watch more of our videos. Thank you. Thank <music> you.